Holmstrom live in the Satellite Center. Juan and Sharon, we are keeping a close eye on Tropical Storm Dorian. We're just learning President Trump is declaring an emergency as millions of people brace for Dorian's impact. Now, I want to show you some video taken earlier today. Take a look at this. This is the first video of Dorian. It was taken in the Caribbean island of Martinique. People there, they shared video of flooded streets. You can also see downed trees as the storm just passed through the small French island. Well, people in Puerto Rico, they are concerned by what's to come. They're still recovering from the damage of Hurricane Maria back in 2017. You may remember that hurricane killed nearly 3,000 people. Well, now survivors are gearing up for another possible disaster. A big concern is this widespread is power outages like we saw with Maria because that could last days, possibly weeks. Now, currently, there are 30,000 homes still covered with blue tarps. There's also about 1,000 roads on the island that remain impassable since Hurricane Maria. I spoke with CBS News correspondent David Begnow. He's on the island as the storm gets ready to make landfall. Um, interestingly, people have already started to lose power in various places along the island. It's not because the storm has gotten here early. It's just because you have a very weak system on a very vulnerable island that is anticipating the landfall of a very weak storm. But it may be just strong enough to cause weeks or months worth of, worth of problems. And as millions brace for another possible disaster, we're learning the Federal Emergency Management Agency is losing funding. And now the Trump administration is pulling $155 million in FEMA disaster relief. Homeland Security is shifting the money to fund support for its policy of returning migrants to Mexico. President Trump, he also tweeted today saying, wow, yet another big storm heading to Puerto Rico. Will it ever end? Trump falsely claiming Congress approved $92 billion in disaster aid after Hurricane Maria devastated the island two years ago. Well, Congress approved roughly $40 billion in aid, but Puerto Rico has received only a fraction of that. And the budget office estimates it could receive close to $90 billion over the next two decades. David Begno says he spoke with FEMA and they are confident in the fact that they're prepared. But the bottom line is, most people would tell you the federal government's response after Maria was solely inadequate. Will they be better prepared this time? FEMA says absolutely. There are 3,000 federal workers on the island. 500 arrived today. They are in position and ready to go. And we're also learning tonight that several airlines are waiving rescheduling fees for flights going to Puerto Rico, also the Dominican Republic, areas that are in the path of Tropical Storm Dorian. Back to you in the studio. All right, Chris, thank you.